Well, hello everyone. Thank you for joining me again today. This is Anita White with Love Your Art. So happy to have you with us and we are ready to jump right on in. We are going to be using this 12 by 24 inch canvas that we will be using to do a Dutch pour on using our Artist Loft Floor Acrylic White. And that will be our base color. So we're going to begin with that. Just giving it a chance to be laid down and blowed out. And then we will introduce our layering colors. We have been doing some black and white, which has just been awesome. I've had such a great time using black and white and I just love it. And there are a lot of people who love black and white. So I'm not going to be done with black and white. I just am going to mix it up a bit and we'll see where it takes us. But for now, we're doing a white base and this is going to be a Dutch pour today on a 12 by 24 inch canvas. And I'm gonna use my bow dryer to blow out the paint today for the base color. So hold on. making sure we have coverage for all areas. Get that all down in there as well. Okay. I'm gonna take my spatula and go across here really quick just to feel the paint looking for any high or low areas that we may need to adjust before we put our layering colors in. We look to be doing pretty good with that. Okay, all right, so we can pop our air bubbles now and um, then introduce our layering colors. So let's wipe that off. And torch time. Just making sure we have a nice flawless canvas to begin with before we put down our layering colors. and. To do that, we have a torch to look for air bubbles or it helps us to give a smooth um, foundation. And while we're doing that, we always look for any high or low areas as well as any debris. We don't want any unwanted or uninvited guests in our party, so it's important to take care of making sure we have all of our um, canvas laid down nicely and smoothly so it can dry evenly as well. Just taking my little wipe here and wiping off my paint bottles because we actually had paint blow over on them as we were doing our layering colors. And I want to have that cleaned off so you can see the names of the colors as we introduce them to the canvas. So. Just one second here. We have a nice color combination. Of, and if you um, know me, you know we like to experiment. So we're trying something new all the time. 
new is the name of the game. So this color combination is not what I've put together before. You get to see it for the first time, which is always exciting too, because we learn and we experience together, which is always cool, really cool to do that. So let's get going here. We are going to um, introduce our colors to the canvas to see who's joining us for our party today. All right, so all the way from Artist Loft, we have the Brilliant Blue. We also have from Artist Loft, the Metallic Cobalt Blue. Amsterdam Light Gold. Artist Loft Metallic Blue. So we've got three blues so far. And Artist Loft, Old Gold, along with the Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. So we've got six colors, and I may drizzle some of this Artist Loft Floor Clip White in there just to bring out a little bit more of the colors, break them up a little bit. So we're going to start with the design here, and we want to have white negative space on our canvas. So Let's see what we can do with this. Okay. We're just gonna put these colors right on top and work it from there. All right. Here's our Amsterdam light gold. really pretty. We also have the metallic blue on top of this gold. Get that in there. Our artist lost old gold. So far blues and golds. And then this Amsterdam permanent blue violet right on top of these guys. All right, it's looking pretty good. We wanna wrap back around with some brilliant blue. That's the first one we started with. And we are going to take our torch, pop air bubbles here. Move our little friends aside so that we can blow without any problems. Um, let's see, I see another bubble here. I'm not certain if I want to put, still seeing air bubbles, so I'm still torching. I'm not certain if I want to put that added white in there, so let's leave it out for now. We'll see what happens. Take our blow dryer here and let's see what magic just comes right in and just layers itself and pulls up from the bottom up and it just I mean it's truly truly amazing what it does to the colors the hint of gold as much as we put in there the two types of gold we still cells developing here little hint of gold there here here on the edge of that oh my heavens it is beautiful I'm going to torch a few air bubbles I see here Wow, simply 
stunning. And I think it was a good decision not to put the added white in there because as you can see, each of our petals, if you will, they all have some white and it's all, I think, nicely uh, captured here. Wow, just stunning. Let's um, look for a popsicle stick. You have a popsicle stick to go underneath and capture excess paint, allowing this to assist with the um, drying or resting, if you will, of the painting. We don't want the design to lose its format. So although it's gonna move, it will move some, it doesn't have to be a tremendous amount so we have to take our time to go back and make sure that paint is definitely coming to rest. It's not moving off the canvas. And we do that with the popsicle stick or you can use any type of paint tool. Um, you can use your finger even. Just make sure you do it. And do it a few times because the paint, until the paint starts to rest, it's no longer moving off the canvas. Holy moly, I am so liking this. Hope you like it. Time for close up, we'll let you see. So here we are, it's close up time, guys. Look at here, this shimmer you can see right on top comes from those metallics that we had in here, the metallic cobalt blue, as well as the metallic blue. Um, we also, Get a little shimmer from that old gold. So from by Art Artist Off as well. Look at that, how it captured it right on the edge here. So pretty. See that shine and shimmer throughout. Love it, love it, love it. Look at the richness of the blue here. And you move on over and you can see it on that cobalt blue there. So pretty. Woohoo! like it. I like it. I like it. Whoa. Isn't that amazing how these colors come together? And I tell you, we don't have to say much about them because they make a statement for themselves, all by themselves, in fact. So it's great to see it happen. You can see a few cells in here. Look how rich and pretty that is. There's more cells over here that are in gold. More shine and shimmer there. Here's some, some white cells there. Gold cells. Just stunning. Just simply stunning. So this again is a 12 by 24 inch canvas. And we have some amazing color combination here, as you can see with hints of gold just touching throughout. Let me know what you think. And of course, if you haven't done so, I wouldn't mind at all if you would go ahead and just like and subscribe and become a regular member of our wonderful art world where we're joining during this journey together and enjoying every bit of it. So please come along with us. Go ahead and subscribe. Be a part of being informed when we have our each and every one of our video uploads. So until next time, keep loving your art. Have a great day, stay safe, and we'll see you guys, all of you, on our next video upload. Thanks for joining me, bye. Okay guys, we are back and we have a 12 by 24 inch canvas where we just finished doing a um, Dutch pour with a white base, and I'm gonna do it this time with a black base and we're gonna compare and see which one we like the best. So here's how we're starting off. We have the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black, and we have the white in the previous painting, but we're using black as a base color now, and we're gonna lay this out just like we did the white, and we're gonna get that nice and smooth so that we can have our layering colors Come right on over on top. Okay, 
Okay, we're getting this down as quick as we can. We're gonna blow it out with the blow dryer too. I have on gloves because I wanna be able to move without having a lot of black paint on my hands touching everything to include the torch and everything else we touch. So, we have our blow dryer here and we're gonna blow out the black. certain that we have coverage completely where none of our canvas, the white on our canvas is being exposed. So get it all done here best as we can. All right that looks pretty good. Then of course we want to take our spatula as well just like we did with the white canvas. And we are going to take and go through and smooth it, but just getting a feel. I like the spatula because it helps us to get a feel for high and low levels, where we may have more paint and not enough paint, that kind of thing. You don't necessarily get that when you blow dry, so we want to feel for that now. Don't want too much paint in one certain area, not enough in another area. So, and we're pretty good here. It takes time and practice, so don't get discouraged if you're learning to do this. It is a process. It's a work in progress. And it takes trial and error. You're going to make mistakes. And the beauty of that is you can learn from them. Don't get frustrated and give up because this is not an overnight success story for most anyone. But it is very, very possible to be a success story. I totally enjoy doing acrylic art painting, totally enjoy the Dutch pour, learning a lot all the time, improving upon my craft with it and being able to hopefully share things with you that'll help improve your um, success as well. So keep at it and don't think that you're all by yourself. That's why I refer to my videos as we, we are doing this together. We are a team learning how to work on these various um, acrylic paintings together. And that makes it so much more fun. So. We have our black down and it looks very good. Um, looks pretty level from what I can tell. We're just smoothing out, making sure we got an even amount of paint throughout. 
and all of our sides and our edges and corners are just covered as well. Don't want anybody left out. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We'll wipe this off and wipe our spatula off and then we'll make effort to lay out our colors. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do with this. All right. And I'll wipe my gloves just so that when I touch my bottles, they're not all getting full of black paint. Well, let's do this first. We have to torch. Get all the air bubbles out. Try very hard to create a flawless foundation to start with because that's where you can fix a lot of problems before they even begin. Okay. All right, so there's our torching. And see all those edges over here popping up with some of the white coming through. So I'm using my finger just to tap those in. Okay, all right. Now, the fun part is here. We have joining us today the Artist Loft Brilliant Blue. We have Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, along with the Amsterdam Light Gold. We have Artist Loft Metallic Blue the Artist Loft Old Gold, and the Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. Those were the same six colors we used in the previous white-based uh, 12 by 12 that we did in the Dutch pour. And we're now going to use this similar format by way of design with the black. And see which one we like the best and we won't know until we try it. So that's why we're doing this guys. This, that was the brilliant blue. This is the cobalt blue. And on top of that, we have our Amsterdam light gold. I'm going in the same sequence that we use for the white base canvas. This is the metallic blue really really pretty awesome and we have our old gold by artist law on top of that a lot of gold but as you noticed in the previous design we didn't have a lot of gold in our outcome just hints of gold and this is the permanent blue violet which you all know i absolutely love and we wrap back around with this Artist Loft Brilliant Blue. Same color we started with. Okay. And I debated on adding this white in the first um, design and I'm not going to add it now. We're gonna do this just like we did the white base. In terms of sequence. Okay, cool. We have our paints down. We've done what we can to pop air bubbles. And we are ready to see what we can blow out. And I recall blowing here first, so we'll see where we go with this.
so as you can see, it is another amazing, beautiful piece. The colors are simply stunning on black as well. I'm gonna bring you in for a close up so you can see exactly what we got going on here. And let me know what you think. Hold on for a close up. Okay, here we have it. It's close up time for the black with the same colors we just used with the 12 by 24 inch with a white base. Look at the shine and shimmer from those iridescent or actually metallic colors that we see there we've used. There's the Artist Love Gold along with the really rich blue that you can see in here from all the blues that we put together. There's hints of that metallic cobalt blue in there, along with that brilliant blue, and of course the metallic blue. Shimmer and shine is just absolutely stunning. Wow, it's all throughout. You can really see it when you use a black base. Look at that blue that has been outlined along with the purple that's outlining, giving it a nice shimmer and shine sequence of cells in here oh my goodness it is absolutely stunning beautiful hope you like it let me know which one you prefer black one or the white one again these all have the same colors that we use in each one of the designs and just let me know what you think of it and again, I want to remind you, if you haven't done so, go ahead and like and subscribe. You want to be informed each and every time we have a video upload. We'd love to have you join us. Thank you so much. Until next time, keep loving your art. Have a great day. Stay safe. Be healthy. And we'll see you all on our next video upload. Let us know what you think in the comments. Bye now. Thank you again for joining me.